Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new and possibly better way to apply heat to your beard. And you can do this with a blow dryer or a heated brush. I'm going to be using a heated brush for today's video purposes. But first, I'm going to get my beard ready. I used a normal blow dryer, have oil, it's absorbed in. But I'm going to dress my heat in different layers or different spots. But first, with my mustache and my sideburns, which are pretty normal. I do this on a daily basis. And then I'll show you guys the new, new stuff. But I figured while we're on camera, might as well kind of go over this technique again. I call this the lazy walrus, where I simply take this bit mustache, it's not far off right now, but I like to get it off my lip a little bit more. And then I also like to blend it into the beard over here. So you can start, I'll show you one side compared to the other. I'm kind of going down and out. And notice how right here, I'm just blending it. So if you notice there, you can really see the difference from this being nice and a little style, a little swoop to this one just being a little bit more kind of hefty and down. Not a huge difference, but I notice it. And I'm using this at 320 degrees. That is my sweet spot. And if you notice, I kind of put my tongue under the lip and push it out a little bit. And then now I'm gonna get my sideburns. And what I like to do here is just kind of grab these hairs, straighten them out a little bit to the side. This is kind of a form of what I'm gonna talk about in today's video, but I'm gonna get a little bit more specific for you. All right, really get the base straightened out, go all the way through, and then I'm gonna bring it back, smooth it out. And all that does is you can see the two sides here, right? This gives me a little bit of a sleeker one when this one has that kind of little dip curl right there. Uh, kind of like an S curl, I guess you could say. And all it does is straighten it out a little bit. Again, not a big deal, but it is something that I notice. Okay, so going through here, just trying to go slow, apply that tension, apply the heat. And I'm going to bring it back over. And once again, you saw that, that S curl before. Now it's just a little bit strained. And when I comb it, it helps it out a little bit as well. But now, the real point of this video, and this will especially help guys with medium to shorter beards. Longer beards, this can be great for like a reset, addressing problem areas. I don't necessarily recommend it on a daily basis, but may, maybe it's what's gonna be working for you. And that's the idea of applying heat in layers. So many people think about applying heat down, maybe go underneath, go to the side. But when you take a look at this beard, you're only likely, if you're using a heated brush or even at times a blow dryer, only getting through to the first half of your beard or even the first quarter. When I take away this first bit of hair, I still have a whole new level to this beard. This thing is dense. Like I am grabbing a whole beard right here and look at how much is left underneath here. And then if you notice, the front is really nice and straight, but underneath I have some more texture, some more body, some more volume, which can be a good thing. But especially if you have that medium short kind of business beard look, this can be a game changer for how you tame your beard. So you can do this in a couple of ways. You can use a hair clip. They do make some manly looking hair clips that you can buy online. I just don't have any with me right now. Where you pull the hair, clip it in place, and then use a blow dryer. Or you can just simply use a heated brush where you move the, the layers with your hand. And then you're just going to go down and apply heat right to that, new, that next layer. At times, what I like to do is, as it's in my hand, I like to just simply grab a little bit of a layer until all of that hair is then gone, and then I'm going through. Now, one of the ways where I really utilize this is I get this little dip on my chin. It's not because of grooming. It's not because of a mask. It's simply a different growth pattern. My, so my soul patch, if you see here when I do this, my soul patch grows differently than my beard underneath it, and that causes that dip, which is a common growth pattern for a lot of you. So what I like to do is grab the hairs on one side, kind of strain it out, and I apologize for the eye contact, away from it, bring it all back down again, and then do the same for the other side. Grab the hairs here, and I'm gonna apply in layers, and I'm gonna go down. Now the reason why I made this video is because I believe a lot of guys, myself included for a long time, just thought of applying heat to the front of the beard, maybe underneath the beard, but they're not really getting into those layers. Pull that beard, even go to the side here. Really start addressing your beard in different layers, okay? I'm gonna leave this off right here. Question for you guys. 
Have you ever applied layers of heat to your beard? Is this something new to you? Somebody that is huge on our Wednesday night Beard Advice live stream is a lady by the name of Molly McKay. She is in school for taking care of beards, taking care of head hair, cutting, trimming, health, all that stuff. She really was like, hey, have you ever thought about this layer stuff? My husband Kinsman does it and it's huge. The mayor started doing it and he was like, dude, this is fantastic. So I was like, I think we got something here. I wanted to make a video for you guys. Consider trying applying heat and layers. Questions, comments, experiences, wonderings, uh, worries. Do you have anything for us? Other than that, guys, that's all I have. Thank you for watching today. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.